two, three. Hello, hello, hello. This is Crystal. You can call me Sherpa. And I am glad that you are here. And I actually am late, but I had a topic that was on my mind and my heart to share. So here I am with a very precarious setup here. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But um, I've been seeing a lot of people that are afraid. And what I mean is, I guess I didn't really, really understand the scope and the depth at which people were afraid. And it just really kind of dawned on me that there are a lot of people who are living in fear right now. And I should share something with you. I don't know if you're going to receive it or not, but I figured, what have I got to lose? I'm going to go for it because it might help. So the first thing is, in order to be able to process what I'm about to share with you, you have to have a fundamental understanding that you are a spiritual being living a temporary human experience and that you were made in the likeness and image of a God or all that is or an in, uh, infinite intelligence, whatever you refer to God as that is a speaking spirit that creates from the words that are spoken, which are in effect vibration. Okay. So basically you have to have a belief that, that you really do um, derive from a source of power. Okay. So under that scope of understanding, I want to share three reasons why you can't afford to be afraid. So, the first reason that you can't afford to be afraid is because fear nullifies whatever level of faith you have. So what I mean is that even if you say, okay, let's take the Christian Bible because Christian is my background. I believe that it says that when you pray, that you pray without doubting. So what that means is, and, and then if you take it to a spiritual perspective, like if you expand a spiritual perspective, what it means is that when you send out a prayer, you're sending out a vibration, a signal, something you're sharing with infinite intelligence of what you want to draw to you. Okay, so you pray, I want to be safe. But then when you doubt, that's another energy that offsets the energy that's going to give you what you requested. So you can't afford to doubt and to fear because fear is going to ensure that the very thing you fear comes upon you. I think that's, you know, if you read Job, the very thing that was feared is what came upon. And that is because when you speak as a speaking spirit, your words establish a vibration that sends out to the universe, infinite intelligence, God, a signal that draws that thing to you. That's where a lot of attraction comes from, right? So that's the first reason why you can't afford to fear because it's just going to cancel out whatever you thought you had was faith. And then you're in a worse position than you started from. The second reason you can't afford to fear is because fear is more than just kind of a mental state of being. Fear actually um, will affect your state of health, your body, the cells in your body can feel when you're afraid and they will call you will be more susceptible to being sick if you're afraid and so what that means is like the very thing you're afraid of which is being sick your fear will cause your body to be in a position where you're more susceptible to being sick than you were had you just been afraid so you can't afford you can't afford to be afraid you can't afford to be fearful because you will cause your body to be in dis-ease and you will cause yourself to be more susceptible to being sick than if you were to just stand in faith. And the third reason why you can't afford to be in fear is because it's a slap in the face to God. From my perspective, it's like this. You read your Bible. I have a Christian background, so I'm a Bible. I don't know what your book is, okay? And it says, pray and don't doubt. And you say that you believe 
that you serve a God, infinite intelligence that created everything, okay, that has control over everything. You know, we say God is in control. Okay, well, if you really believe that, then why are you afraid? I'm not saying be belligerent, not wear your mask and all that kind of stuff. I mean, do what you know to do because really, really, I do it because I know it makes other people comfortable. You know, I know if I wear my mask and people feel comfortable, I'm not going to breathe some COVID onto them, right? But um, but it's kind of an insult. You know, it's a little bit of an insult. No, it's a big insult to God if you say that you believe that God can answer your prayers and then you act as if you're afraid. To me, that behavior glorifies the thing you don't want and almost and really kind of gives it more power than God because it's like, oh, well, yeah, I pray, but girl, mm, this stuff is really something, huh? So what I'm saying is you can't afford to fear because now you're going to take God off. I mean, this is just my crystal pure face, but now you're going to take God off because he's like, he's like, wait a minute. I said I was going to take care of that. You don't believe me? Oh, see, right. Now, now I'm supposed to answer your prayer even though you're in fear. Now, I'm not saying God can do what God wants to do. Okay, <laughs> He can answer your prayer. All, you know, he can do whatever he or she, all that is. I like all that is. It's my new name for God. But um, God can do whatever God wants to do. But, the, but would you, like say, for example, you said that um, you told your son or daughter you were going to get them something for Christmas. Okay. Oh, say, let's say Christmas. You're going to get them this doll. You're already working on it. You're in, in the process of doing it. You're all excited because you're going to bless them. And they're like, she ain't going to get it. I don't believe she's going to get it because I, I, I don't think she loves me enough to do it. Like, how would that make you feel? That's a little bit like, to me, that's a little bit like what you're doing when, you, when you're in fear even though you're praying, that just, that doesn't really balance out. That doesn't really work. So that's what I wanted to share today. I just want to say, be, be encouraged. Do not fear the things that are going around you. You have the ability to control your experience based on the words that you say and the things that you focus your mind on so that if you're thinking of things that are fearful and you're thinking of the bad outcomes and you're thinking of how things are horrible, even when you see them in front of your eyes, because I know I'm not naive. I know there's very bad situations out there that are ugly, that are nasty, that are really just seem insurmountable. But I also believe in the power of human divinity and that you, if you will accept it, can change the condition of your current state based on the words that you speak and the things that you hold in your thoughts. But you have to believe it. It can't be me believing it for you. You have to believe that you have that power. And if you can make that step to believe that you have that power, you can change your current situation and your circumstances. So that's what I wanted to share today. Three reasons why you can't afford to be in fear. The first reason you can't afford to be in fear is that Oh, I forgot my order. <laughs> the first reason you can't afford to be in fear is because it nullifies and cancels out your prayer. Whatever little faith you had, if you're fearful and you don't believe that the prayer is going to be answered, you're really canceling out that that um, request that you put onto the universe. The second reason you can't afford is because it will make you sick. Dis-ease is a result of stress and fear. And you will make you can make your body more susceptible to the very thing you fear based on how you think about it. And the third thing is that um, I wouldn't personally want to make, <laughs> I wouldn't want to hurt God's feelings. That's me personally. And if you believe that God can do what you believe, what you say he, he can do, and you pray and you ask him for something, then you need to respect him, him or her all that is enough to not doubt and not fear and to see in your mind the result that you ask for knowing and expecting that it's coming. Regardless of what you're seeing in front of your very eyes. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope it was helpful for you. If it's helpful, please share the video and check out my um, profile this week. I'm going to be digging a little bit deeper into some topics I hope will help with the whole fear dynamic and make sense of it in the broader realm of things. So with that, I'm going to sign out and go to sleep where I should be right now. And I hope you have a wonderful, hope you had a great weekend and I hope you have a wonderful week.
Oops. 